out here in Greenville, Alabama. If you're not familiar with Greenville, Alabama, it is in between Evergreen and Montgomery, Alabama. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's a beautiful, amazing country out here. It is just spectacular. This is where I'm at today, Sherling Lake. Now, a lot of folks in the area know all about Sherling Lake. Uh, it's been around forever. They do summer camps here. Uh, but I kind of wanted to review it because it's an interesting setup. It's different from other ponds or lakes in the sense that it's broken up but still connected. What I mean by that is, as you can see behind me, that's actually the first place that I ever filmed a fishing review video, kind of. If you go back to my channel, uh, I actually had a water moccasin that would not stop eating all of my lures. Eating, consuming all of my lures. So go back and check that one out. Um, but that's the, kind of the dock area that I was at. And then as you can see here, I'm actually on another one. Another bridge that connects. Um, and there's actually two parts, two lakes, um, two Sherling Lake. I'm on the main one and it kind of wraps around a little bit. And it kind of bends. Um, you definitely want to boat for this one. I took a boat out this morning. Didn't have much luck. It's really hot out here if you can't tell. Um, so I didn't have much success, those bass, they were hot and tired. Um, but then there's another one that connects more so to the golf course. So um, definitely check both of these out. It is beautiful, amazing country out here. Um, visibility is about 100% because it's not that deep. Maximum depth, you're looking at four feet, maybe four feet max. I was averaging about two and a half to three feet. Um, but I got hooked up on a few things and I was able to manage through it and I actually had a few good bites. Just couldn't set the hook very well. Um, it was just so hot today. So hot this morning. But I just want to show you this area. Uh, a few tips for you. Just stick with your... Um, stick with your weedless lures and what I mean by that is there's about a tree or a log within five feet everywhere underneath the water. Uh, you're not going to be able to use anything that doesn't have some sort of weed guard or it's weedless by some sort of Texas rig or something. So definitely um, be mindful of that. You will lose all of your lures out here within a matter of five minutes because there's so many logs and lay downs and everything like that. Maybe you can actually see one right there. I mean they're everywhere everywhere all throughout here and I'll show you it has some good coverings some good laydowns um, some good points but something you just need to be mindful of is all of the logs and dead trees that are in the water um, so Texas rig uh, anything with a weed guard on it you'll be in good shape um, just make sure that it's weedless so anyways just want to show you this beautiful beautiful spot that I'm at for the weekend Hopefully I'll have a little better success tomorrow. Um, continue to watch, subscribe. I'm going to be doing more reviews as we get into the summer uh, because in my opinion, that's the hardest time to fish. So keep fishing out there, keep your lines tight, and we will check you next time out of Greenville, Alabama. Have a good one. All right, I actually wanted to make a part two to this video for Sherling Lake in Greenville, Alabama uh, because I'm over here at the golf course lake. It's connected um, in the sense that you have this, I don't know if you can hear it behind me, but um, it's a great point to be at uh, and it connects the two lakes together. Um, so obviously that's a good point to post up on. And then behind me, that wasn't here last time I was here, uprooted tree fell in. So that's actually a good point too. A lot of turtles are posted up there. Uh, so I didn't think you know too much of it, but I actually had a few bites. Um, one actually took off the tail to one of my worms so uh, it's a great spot here you have a lot to work with as far as points um, definitely check it out for sure again same water conditions you want to stick with green pumpkin um, black and blue some of your softer plastics um, you can't use any sort of cranks or jerks anything that has treble hooks on it those are going to be out they're going to get snagged so just keep that in mind but definitely come and check it out, Greenville, Alabama, between Montgomery and Enterprise. Fishing spot reviewed, fishing spot approved, and we will catch you next time.